I have been practicing offline with some of the new cards here and I finally found a version of Rescue Ace that I really like and it's the combo one where we will use Fireball, Dragon, Protect Code Talker to end on a Terahertz which will give us access to a Disable Orb Negate and uh, one of these. So we can send this during our opponent's turn and get another Negate. So here is our deck list, you know, we have the usual two hydrants because it is searchable. We don't really play the snake eye stuff. We just have a Dia Bell star, which we can search with the wanted. And of course we can get this original off of Dia Bell star to go into um, our hydrant line. But usually all we need is airlifter. Um, and it could be a one card combo by itself. We are playing stuff like Reprodocus, which we will be using to turn one of our monsters into a Cybers, and then go into our Link Decoder for extra materials. If you've seen my Manadium video, where I go over four different types of Manadium decks, I do have one where we go into Firewall stuff as well. I like the one Turbulent instead of two. It's now treated as a brick. Well, it, I mean, it depends on what you have, right? One thing that we could do potentially is if we have the Bell Star in hand, which we have like four ways to do it, if we draw into one of the Turbulence, we can send it. And then if we have access to a Princess, we could just bring it back, you know? So let's see what our one card combo looks like. For our purposes, we will only be using Airlifter. Uh, we could pretend that none of these other cards in our hand matter and they're not even there. So we will start by normal summoning Airlifter, Airlifter effect, to get a copy of Emergency. Now we use Emergency's effect to now summon a copy of Hydrant and tribute off the Airlifter. Should our Rescue Ace monsters be targeted by an effect like Imperm or Effect Veiler, we can then dodge it with Emergency. Now we use Hydrant's effect to add a copy of Turbulence to our hand. And now, since we have both Emergency and Airlifter in the grave, we will simply banish both of those for the Turbulence. Okay, from here, we will use Turbulence effect to set four spell traps. So we have Extinguish, Contain, uh, Alert, and of course, Rescue. If you're not too familiar with Rescue Ace cards, these cards do have bonus effects as long as we have Hydrant on the field. If you are playing against Snake Eyes and they happen to put Hydrant in your spell trap zone as a continuous spell card, you will still get the bonus effects of your spell traps. So here, uh, because we have Hydrant, we can activate one of these turn that they have been set. And the only relevant one here is Alert, and that's the only one that we need. So we can use Alert to get a copy of Preventer to our hand. And now we could do the same thing that we did for Turbulence, but this time Preventer only needs to banish one card. So it's going to be the Alert that we just used. On the field, Preventer has a quick effect, Book of Moon, for our opponent's monsters, but that's not really relevant at this point. So now we're going to start going into our Link plays. So first, we start off by linking Hydrant into Link Karibo. And now, from here, we will link Link Karibo and the Preventer into Reprodocus. Whenever Preventer leaves the field, we can then target one of our Rescue Ace monsters that are banished and summon it to the field. So we will summon it right under where Reprodocus points to. This is very important that we don't summon anything blocking this Link Zone. We can now use Reprodocus' effect and transform our monster into a Cybers one. And now, since Airlifter is the Cybers monster, we can now link it into Link Decoder. From here, link off the two Link monsters into Protect Code Talker. Doing this will also let Link Decoder summon itself back to the field.
And then from here, we will link into Firewall Dragon using the Turbulence and Protect Code Talker. From the grave, we will use Protect Code Talker's effect, banishing Link Karibo and Reprodocus, and placing it under Firewall Dragon where they can be co linked. This lets us use Firewall Dragon's effect to put back one monster from our grave to our hand. And in this case, we want to get Preventer. Just so we have follow up for our next turn, uh, we do want to make sure that Hydrant stays in the grave because we will be bringing this back during our opponent's turn with the set Rescue that we have, giving our trap cards on the field bonus effects, right? Okay, from here, we will now link away the three Link monsters on our board for the Terra Hertz. From here, we can now use Terra Hertz's effect to send one Cybers monster from our deck or extra deck to the grave, and of course, we are going for the Disable Worm. This gives us a spell trap negate as long as we have a Link 4 or higher monster on the board. And then on our opponent's turn, we can then send another Cybers monster in the form of the Aggregator to negate one face-up card on the board. We have obtained all of this just from one card. And of course we have the hand traps in our hand and even cross out Designator. The reason why I really like this is because now we have an easy way to OTK someone uh, going second because of, you know, how many monsters that we can summon. And of course, Neo Terra Hertz is just a big dude. Aside from that, uh, this also plays around evenly. I feel like a lot of people are on thrust and evenly matched just because of how people's end boards look like. They don't really end on Omni Negates and they end on a bunch of like monster negates instead, right? So this gives us a fighting chance um, when we're going first and not just lose to a single card. And so from here, I do have two more replays to share. One replay is we are going second against my friend Snake Eyes deck, where we did open, you know, a bunch of hand traps and then got to go full combo going second. And the final replay, we are actually going second against Unchained, where they go into their full combo. And then on our turn, we play through a maxi, but then we still are able to win the grind game. So yeah, check out the replays if you're interested, and I hope you learned something from this video. Until next time, 